Assalamu alaikum, I am Pavel and I welcome you all to another video tutorial of the calculus for beginner series. As you can see, I have already written some of the formula that will be used in this particular lesson. And our today's topic is trigonometric functions. So I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 formula. So there are some other formula, but this formula will be mostly used. That I, uh, that's why I have already written them. Okay, so the first formula says limit x tends to 0. If the limit uh, goes to 0, it tends towards 0, then sin x divided by x would be equal to 1. So here x is the placeholder, that is the variable. So instead of x, it could be anything. It could be theta, it could be y, it could be any variable. Okay. So here x is the just placeholder. So this is the variable. So, and it stands for every variable. That would be true. Similarly, limit x tends to 0, 10x by x is equal to 1. Limit x tends to 0, cos x is equal to 1. Now, here comes some important formula, this one. 1 minus cos twice x will be 2 sin square x. So, one thing you have to notice that here, it was twice x, but it becomes x here, okay? Again, it's twice x here, but it becomes x here. That means it's being halved, okay? So, whatever the value of the degree, I mean, theta is here, the angle that would be divided by 2. So if you have 5x, it would be 2 sine square 5x by 2. Similarly here, if you have 7x or thrice x, it would be thrice x by 2 or 7x by 2. The same formula, I mean the same concept goes here. So you have sine twice x, that is uh, equal to 2 sine x into cos x. So it's twice x here, but it's x and x here. That means you can see it's being halved, okay? So if it's 4x, it would be 2 sine twice x into cos twice x, okay? So this formula are done. Now coming to this 4 formula, here uh, one exception you can notice, cos c minus cos d here, d uh, comes first and then c comes, so d minus c. In all other formula, it's c minus d divided by 2, but here it's d minus c divided by 2. So you have to keep in mind for this particular formula. Okay, so let's just start and we see how to apply this formula. Let us start with a very simple mathematical problem. Limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos twice x uh, divided by x square. Okay, so let's just try to solve it. So we know the formula for 1 minus cos twice x, this particular formula, okay? So what can we do here is that we can write limit x to 0 and it would become 2 sine square x divided by x square. Okay, now we know another thing I just forgot to write, it would be like sine square x, we can write it as sine x whole square, okay? So instead of sine squared x, we can write sine x whole square. So what we can do here is that we can just separate the two here and we can write this as sine x divided by x whole square, okay? So you see, we can write sine squared x as sine x whole square. So sine squared x, it went inside the bracket, so it becomes sine x whole square and x square, we put it also inside the bracket. So it's become x whole square. So this is equivalent to this term, okay? Now, we know that for limit x tends to zero, sine x by x, it would be equal to one. So we have two times, this value is one squared, that would be equal to one. So the result will be equal to two. I hope you understand. Okay, so if some of you still have confusions, let me, show you another example of the same type. Limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos, say, thrice x divided by x square. Okay? So what would it become? It become limit x tends to 0. Here we will get 2 sine squared thrice x by 2. Okay? So you see here, instead of twice x, we got x. That means it's been half. 
So here you have trisect, so it will be half. So we get trisect divided by 2. And in the denominator, you have x squared, so it will remain as it is. Now, limit x tends to 0. So here is the thing. Sine trisect whole square. We have to write it as sine trisect whole square because we know sine square theta is equal to sine theta whole square. Okay. Now, we need the square of this value, right? Because you see here, the value of the theta was x. You had to keep the value of the square in the denominator. So you had x, you have the square here in the denominator. So you need trisect by 2 whole square in the denominator. That means you need 9x square by 4, OK? So in the denominator, we should have 9x square by 4. So I can just write it here. So you need 9x square by 4, OK? So that you can write it as trisect by 2 whole square, OK? Now you have to adjust the coefficient, I mean the constant term, so it would be 4 by 9, so that this cancels out and remain the same as x square. Okay. So limit x tends to 0. So we just calculate this part. So 9 will come here, and this 2 divides 4, it becomes 2. So we will get 9 by 2. Isn't it? We should get 9 by 2. Okay, 9 comes here, 2 divides 4, and we get 2. And we can write this at sine trisect by 2 divided by trisect by 2 whole square. So when you square this part, trisect by 2 whole square, you get 9x squared by 4. And you square sine trisect by 2 whole square is equal to sine squared trisect by 2. So it's all the same. Okay, so this is equivalent to this term. To make this possible, we had to multiply with 9 by 4 and to vanish the extra terms, to cancel out them, we have to multiply here 4 by or with 4 by 9. So this is the adjustment we made. Now for x tends to 0, this trisect by 2, this is also equal to 0. So sine trisect by 2 divided by sine trisect by 2, this particular value becomes 1 as per this particular formula. So we get 9 by 2 times 1 squared, that is 1, which is equal to 9 by 2. Okay, so some of you still might have some confusions, okay? So I will give you uh, two more tasks. So your task will be to pause this video and try it yourself. And after you try, just compare it with my solution, okay? So I will give you two tasks and also the solution for them. So here goes the first one, limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos 7x divided by x square. So this is the first task and I will give you another task that would be in terms of variable. So let us first quickly solve it. So if some, you, some of you can solve it without just looking into my solutions, please uh, let me know your answer in the comment section, okay? Okay, so let me solve it. And I hope that you have paused this video before watching this part of the video. So it would become 2 sine square 7x by 2. And here we need the square of this value. So we will need 49x squared divided by 4. So to make an adjustment, we need this particular value here, okay? So it would become limit x to 0. So it become 49 by 2 into sine 7x by 2 divided by 7x by 2 whole squared. So it would become 49 by 2 times 1, which is equal to 49 by 2. Okay. So I really, really hope and wish that most of you should, and in fact, all of you should be able to solve this particular problem. Okay. So for all of you, I will give you another task and it would be in terms of variable. So limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos mx divided by x squared. So earlier we have uh, given some constants here, 
one, three, five, or whatever might be, the, might be the values. But here, the variable comes instead of the constraints. So this is your task, and you let me know your answer in the comment section, okay? If you can solve. And uh, should I give you the solution here? Mm, okay, let me quickly solve it. And I wish that you have already paused the video. And if you are still watching this video, I hope that you have tried yourself and then you are watching this part of this video. Okay, so what would it become? It would become 2 sine square mx by 2, okay? And in the denominator, what do you need? You need m square x square divided by 4. You just square this part, so you get it here. Now, the extra adjustments that you made, you have to cancel it out, so it would be 4 by m square, so limit x tends to 0, it becomes m square by 2 times sine mx by 2 divided by mx by 2 whole square, okay? So it would be m square by 2 times 1, so this is equal to m square by 2. So now, let me just show you that how it works. So m square by 2, in each of the problems that we discussed earlier, will be the same uh, solution exactly if you just replace the value of m with this particular value. So you see in this particular problem the value of m was 7. So the answer would be 7 square by 2. So you see 7 square by 2. In the previous problem the value of m was 3. So it would be 3 square by 2 which is equal to 9 by 2. So you can compare and then in the first problem it was uh, what is that? Twice x okay. So 2 square by 2. So that should have, should have been equal to 2, okay? Yes, it was 2 as long as I can remember, okay? So I really hope that you understood almost everything, if not everything. And if you still have doubts, you can watch it over once again from the beginning. I hope that uh, you will have no more doubts in this particular problem. So I will end this video now. And please let me know your reactions, uh, whatever you think about these videos and also the playlist, I mean Calculus for Beginner series. And that will inspire me to make more and more videos for you. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay fine. Allah Hafiz.